Hey everyone, making a video here on how to install a bed step on a 2018 Tundra Limited Crew Max TRD package, off road package with a trailer hitch. Didn't plan on making this video, but it was pretty tricky. So I figured to uh, help everybody out because there's not much information on the 2018 uh, installation. I ordered this part number PT392-34140. From Toyota, it did not come with any instructions, so I had to download that uh, online. There's the box it came in. Uh, it seems like it is the Amp Research bed step. Their part number is 75309-01A, and I've been using both of the manuals because. The way one is worded, some words are missing, so it's a little confusing, and I'm just referencing both of these manuals, and that uh, gives me a more clear idea of what I have to do. Uh, here's the bed step. Step one is you just have to put it in the vise and uh, assemble it, but don't tighten anything down yet. So, I'll show you where I am now. Tricky part seems over. But basically, what has to be done is this is the factory bumper support that has to be replaced with the one in the kit. Now, first thing to mention one of the manuals does say to put some tape here on the bumper to protect your bumper. I thought it was originally uh, just going to help protect it from uh, prying this bumper step up here but I found myself uh, hitting it in multiple multiple times along the way so definitely protect protect the corner of your bumper here even if you don't think you're gonna hit it you're gonna end up hitting it with a you know ratchet or drill or something so definitely do that one of the hard parts was to lift up this bumper cover One of the first steps you have to do is take this front corner piece, uh, rear corner piece off. And they're in there with these clips. So these plastic clips go into these square holes in the bumper. And you basically have to squeeze these so you don't break them. So you have to be squeezing them and lifting up. But the hard part is getting access to them from underneath. I ended up using this two foot flat screwdriver, uh, needle nose vice grips, bigger size flat screwdriver which I put some electrical tape over it to protect uh, any of the paint when I'm prying. But I'll show you what it means, uh, what I mean that it's hard to get to from underneath. So, the other problem I had is the sun came out and going between the sunlight and the dark under the bumper was, was pretty hard for your eyes to adjust. So, just another note, try to do this in the shade or in a garage or something. So here's one of the squares. The sunlight's coming through right here. That one was easy to get to. There's another one, you can see it's through this bracket. That was kind of difficult to get to. So, with the trailer hitch, see there's another square where those clips go into. There's a front, a rear row of them that is, they're hard to get to because you need to get that screwdriver behind this you know anywhere you could get it they're very hard to reach so it can be done you just got to angle your screwdriver in multiple spots and 
just be aware of where they are so you don't break them. The reason you need to get to those and lift the bumper up is because this is the factory uh, bumper bracket that has to be replaced with the one it came with. And in order to do that, there is this 12 millimeter bolt and another 12 millimeter, 12 millimeter bolt under this bumper. This one right here. You just need to loosen everything enough on this part to kind of be able to pull this off and uh, undo everything. It was a little difficult to get that bracket out. The factory bracket. It does help to remove this other uh, small bracket that was being held with some 10 millimeter bolts that goes kind of on a diagonal. So here's the the new bracket that came with the bed step in place. I don't necessarily know why you had to change the bracket, but uh, we'll figure that out soon. All right, like I said, I didn't plan on making this video. Just some tips to let you guys know that it's uh, a little tricky to get to a lot of these components.